Okay, let's take a look at this. This is another comprehensive statement of cash flows. They've given us the comparative balance sheet. They've given us the income statement. They've given us some supplementary information. And they ask us to prepare a statement of cash flows using the direct method for the operating section. So let's begin. Cash from customers. We always start with that. So that's sales plus the beginning accounts receivable, which was 53, minus the ending accounts receivable, which is 48. So cash from customers, 265. Dividend revenue, that probably threw you for a bit of a curve. Same deal, we have our dividend revenue, it's the same as sales, so we start with a five, plus the beginning, and our beginning dividends receivable was four. So plus four, that's a total of nine, minus our ending of five. So five plus four minus five, four. So our dividend revenue was four. Our cost of goods sold goes to our cash paid to suppliers. So we have cost of goods sold plus ending inventory minus beginning inventory. So we have plus ending inventory minus beginning inventory plus beginning AP minus ending AP. Okay, and when we put that together, that comes out to 166. Salary expense plus beginning salaries payable minus ending salaries payable gives us cash paid to, to salaries, 41. Uh, depreciation, because this is the direct method, we can ignore. Interest expense is interest expense plus beginning interest payable. Four minus ending interest payable, eight. So we start with the interest expense of eight plus four minus eight. So cash paid for interest is what? Eight plus interest payable. Let me make sure I'm writing down the right numbers. Interest payable, our beginning, we have to pay that, so we have to add four. And our ending interest payable is minus eight, so that's four. Now the loss on the sale of the building, again, we don't need to handle that. Income tax payable is the same, our income tax expense, 19, plus our ending plus our beginning tax payable of six, that's 25, minus our ending tax payable of four, cash 21. Okay, so let's, take, let's do that. Let's fill in those numbers. And gives us the top section of this, that's 265, plus four, 265, sorry, plus four, two suppliers, that's 166, two employees, that's 41, for interest, it's three, for income tax, 21, for a total of 38. Okay, now, that actually should be four, sorry. So that's our net cash from operating activities. Now let's go take a look at the supplementary information. A building that originally cost 44,000, it was three-fourths depreciated, and I know you all wanted to go off and do three-fourths of 44 and $7,000, that's what we care about. Sale of building, we got 7,000. We purchased this long-term investment of 4,000. 
cash, four thousand. Purchase of equipment, they just flat out tell us twenty one thousand. Twenty one thousand. So our total cash out for investing activities is eighteen. And then based on the rest of this information, we sold some inf we sold some stuff. This one's interesting. I want to draw your attention to that one for a second. Issued a 5% stock dividend. Stock dividend, not cash. We don't care about that, okay? We really don't care about that. That's not shareholder equity section. This is a statement of cash flows. Uh... Bonds were sold for twenty-five thousand cash. We care about that cash in from bonds, twenty-five thousand. We paid cash dividends of fourteen. They tell us that. We purchased treasury stock for ten thousand. So our total cash out is. Up 25, down 24, net cash, 1. So let's take a look at our increase in cash. We know that from the beginning to the end, our cash went up by 21. So our cash balance at the beginning was 26. Our cash balance at the end is 47. And this 21 is this, it's 18, 38 minus 18 is 20 plus 121. Now, there's one other piece that we need to consider here. And where is it, where they bought the land? Uh, property was acquired, issuing a 15% seven year note payable, not cash. That's required supplementary information, 30,000 at the bottom, not cash. This is where the statement of cash flow stops. Below that is supplemental information.